Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to increase the transparency of the taskbar in Windows via the registry. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by left clicking and opening up the start menu like you normally would. And now at this point you want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. So instead of just left clicking and running this command, you want to right click on it and then select run as administrator. And then if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Let me back out of this. This is from an earlier tutorial. So give me a moment here. Okay, so if we go underneath H key local machine, we're going to just expand this view by either double clicking on the folder itself or left clicking on the little arrow right next to it on the left side. And then once you've done that, you want to go down to software and do the same thing we just did. And now you want to find the Microsoft folder. Again, do the exact same thing we did before. And now we're going to go down to Windows right here. I'm going to expand that. Current version, going to expand that as well. And then I'm going to go underneath Explore. Right here, I'm going to expand that. And now I'm going to go underneath Advanced, just that one. But I'm not going to double click on this folder. We're just going to leave it right here. And then there should be a few items on the right side here. So what you want to do is right click inside this empty space, anywhere inside of here. Left click on New, select D Word 32 bit value. And then you want to name it Use O L E D, and the capitalization should be exactly how it appears on my screen. So it should say Use O L E D T A S K B R, so Taskbar. And then you want to type in the words Transparency. You want to make sure you spell this correctly. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people spell transparency wrong. So don't feel too bad. You just want to make sure it appears how it does on my screen. So it should say use OLED taskbar transparency. The T in both the taskbar and the transparency should be capitalized. The U in use should be capitalized. And then OLEDT, so there's five letters in a row. All that should be capitalized. The one T actually makes up the word taskbar. And transparency is spelled T R A N S P A R E N C Y. You're more than welcome to pause the video at any point just to write this down. You don't have to feel like you're being rushed. And then once you're done doing that, you can click on enter to save the name of it. And now I'm going to expand this comma a little bit so I can see it a little bit better because now what we're going to do is double click on this entry. Or you can also right click and then modify, but I just double clicked on it if you're wondering what I just did. So now underneath a value data, this is very important, you want to set this to 1. So just type the number 1 in here, you don't want any zero left. So just set it to 1 and then click on the OK button right here. And then you can close out of the registry editor. Now you can go back and right click on a spot on the desktop, there isn't anything, so let's just click right here. And we're going to go underneath Personalize at the bottom of this context menu. You can also go through the star menu and the settings if you want to get to this as well. We're basically getting to the personalization section within the settings window. So once you're here, you can go underneath colors on the left side here and scroll down to where it says make start taskbar and action center transparent. If it's already been enabled, you can just toggle it. So you want to toggle to the off position and then toggle it on again. And you notice that now it does appear to be transparent. It was not like this before. So it's going to be kind of hard for me to undo that, but if you're watching this video, you should be able to see that it was not transparent before, and now it is. So very easy to do. And if it was off to begin with, just turn it on, and you can see that definitely it is transparent now. It was not like this before. I guarantee you I remember what it would look like before. 
So once you're done doing that, it's pretty much whatever you want to do from there. It's pretty simple. You can just close out of the settings window. It should save your changes. If you restart your computer, you should be good as well. And if for some reason you ever wanted to go back, you can just go back into that registry entry we created and delete it. Shouldn't cause any harm. But as always, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out achieve what you were looking to do. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.